I'll give a quick breakdown of my experience with Penis Gabriel. As a child, I was attacked and tortured by Israelis in Pittsburgh. I hadn't realized that it was because my father had been a, an important leader of humanism. I hadn't realized that he had come to the attention of the Beatles when he met with them in England. I didn't realize that it was a meeting that had led to a showdown with Queen Elizabeth's Church of England over the humanist philosophy. I thought people who attacked and tortured me was a horrible Manson ordeal. I went into trauma and coma and they implanted a neurological injury. And I really liked some aspects of their art. So I, as I grew up, I started um, contacting them. And they put out a fish hook, with claiming they were from Amnesty International and would do something to protect victims of torture. So naturally, I explained to them, my life is in danger. I was tortured. And they knew that already because they had done it. And they just passed the giggle to Yoko Ono, who was planning revenge on my father, who was from the CBL 30. And Penis Fripp wrote to me a couple of times, invited me down to um, West Virginia, where I forgot the first lick ends of what hybrid war means, because things started showing up in my mailbox, and people started stalking me and following me around. And, you know, lies started being told to me by students at the college, and hidden cameras and spy camps, and a lot of peep started going on. And so Roger Waters' involvement with Putin was clear. And they lured me to Mount Desert Island where the people who had tortured me and used me for a neurological golem set up an AIDS testing war game. And Penis said it was an experience park. He, he jumps down, holds Wizzy. You know, we're going to scare you straight. And then they start poisoning me in the mouth and scaring everybody straight with COVID-19 and so on. You get the idea. These wizards of uh, British plague rock. They call prog rock, which is pronounced plague rock. Plague rock. 